David Sedaris brings cutting humor and social commentary to Breckenridge this week. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News. First, friends and family of Eric Duby are mourning the loss of a man they call the best of us. On Friday, the Howard Head physical therapist was mountain biking in Moab when he died of a genetic heart condition. He was riding on Captain Ahab Trail south of town. The Summit Daily reports that Doobie's family will host a memorial this Saturday in Chicopee, Massachusetts, near his family home. Friends in Breckenridge are planning a local memorial. Stay tuned for details on that in coming days. If you can't make either one, the family is asking for donations in Eric's name to the Summit Foundation. You can donate online through summitfoundation.org. After selling 12,000 tickets for $6.50 apiece, Aspen Skiing Company has put a stop to its ticket promo for Snowmass Mountain. This from the Aspen Times, Aspen Ski Coat launched a promotion to celebrate the 50th anniversary at Snowmass with tickets priced the same as opening day in 1967. The tickets are only good for one day though, December 15th, and officials are now worried about overcrowding. You can still get a ticket for $6.50 for December 15th, but you'll have to buy lodging at the same time. If you've never read a David Sedaris essay before, the NPR host and social commentator can come across as sarcastic, jaded, and acerbic, and that's exactly the point. It's a very dry, sarcastic humor, a very cutting, very, very funny, very smart type of commentary. That was Rob Wolf, executive director for Brett Create and a big Sedaris fan. Sedaris returns to Breckenridge for a third time this Thursday, bringing with him stories from his newest collection, titled Theft by Finding. It's a book of journal entries from 1977 until 2002, all edited and revised for the public, but still with the author's unique worldview. You know, he does actually readings from the book, but he also sort of goes off script and goes off on tangent on different things in the world. Joining Sedaris in Breckenridge is his friend and editor, Jeffrey Jenkins. He also recently released a book titled David Sedaris Diaries, A Visual Compendium. It's an artistic counterpart to Theft by Finding and gives readers a new visual taste of what's going on inside Sedaris' head. Sort of a visual, almost coffee table book uh, with a collage sort of theme of different visuals of David Sedaris's diaries. Tickets are still available for the Sedaris event starting at $45. Sedaris and Jenkins are at the Riverwalk Center in Breckenridge this Thursday. The evening begins at 7.30 p.m. with signatures before and after the talk. By the time you hear this, all four lanes through Farmer's Corner between Frisco and Breck should be open. Officials hosted a ribbon-cutting ceremony for the $22.6 million project today. It took two years and expands Highway 9 from two lanes to four lanes in one of the county's tightest traffic bottlenecks. Tune in at 4 p.m. for sound bites from the ceremony. And one more reminder that ballots are due today at one of the drop boxes across the county by 7 p.m. Find boxes at Dillon Town Hall, Frisco Town Hall, the North Branch Library in Silverthorne, Main Branch Library in Frisco, or the Old County Courthouse in Breckenridge. In sports, the Nuggets play the Nets tonight at 7 p.m. on Altitude. Vegas has the Nuggets winning by 11 and a half points. In local sports, the Summit Rugby Girls team is getting ready for the State Sevens Tournament in Broomfield this weekend. The Tigers are undefeated against in-state teams this season and are looking to claim an unprecedented 10th consecutive state championship. Tune in on Friday for interviews with head coach Carl Barth and the rest of the team. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News.